Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to blend videos using Adobe After Effects. Um, this technique I'm, being, I'm using right now for a clone shot, where you've got a shot taken off a tripod with the same actor taking two different positions and blending them together. Uh, you can also do it uh, blending like for a movie poster, you know, faces onto a planet or something like that. Uh, but these techniques will basically show you how to take different shots of footage and blend them together. So here I am inside After Effects. And I've got uh, myself twice, once sitting in a chair and once on the couch. Go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. All right. So there you can see me interacting with myself or trying to get my attention while I'm reading a book. But it doesn't really look like there's any obvious seams in the shot. Um, this is achieved a couple of different ways. First, I shot it off a tripod without moving the camera. Uh, you can move the camera side to side, you know, pan it or tilt it, but remember if you've got a zoom lens and it's zoomed all the way out, it's going to have a little bit of a fishbowl effect on the sides which will warp the ends of your frame. Um, I ran into that before and it's no fun to try to cut around inside of After Effects. But here I've got, I'll turn the color layer off, essentially I have one shot on top of another with this mask running between the two of them. So if I duplicate this shot, and delete the mask. You can see it's just one solid shot with me acting against nothing. And the other shot is again me acting against nothing. So clone shots specifically, think out very carefully what's going on, what they're supposed to be doing, where they're supposed to be sitting, so you can line things up in the finished product. Now, something you'll notice is that my arm is very, very, very close to the book. This is where a DP or an assistant director can really come in handy. If you're doing this yourself, it's too easy to have an element move over the other shot or something like that. Again, very difficult to compensate for later. So, probably should have been sitting a little bit further away, and it's easier to see that behind the camera than it is from in front of it. But in the, anyway, we've got this, uh, these two shots blended together. There's no seam, however, and if we were to, let's say we take just one shot, and we'll pretend that a cloud has gone over it. So we'll take the brightness and contrast. We're going to increase the brightness of just one side. So sometimes your shot will be brighter on one take and darker on the other. I've got this mask, but I've also got a little bit of blurring in the middle of it. So we open up the mask, you can see the mask is feathered. Increasing the feather can really bring those two shots together. So again, staying away from the sides of the frame so that that feather doesn't cut into your elements. But even with this shot substantially lighter, the two blend together very, very well. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to blend shots using Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.